Stop scrolling because what I'm about to share could totally redefine the way you see the internet forever. But first, let's go back to the history. Web 1 was where you could only read stuff like Yahoo or old school blogs. You're just scrolling, in quietly. Then came Web 2, the internet we mostly use today. Right now, you can write, post, comment, go viral on YouTube, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, all that social magic. But here's the catch. You create the content. The company keep the power. They own your everything. Now go to Web3. Web3 lets you read, write, and own your data, digital assets, and even help govern the platforms you use. Sounds promising, right? But let's be real. Web2 still has some serious advantages that Web3 hasn't caught up to yet. You all may wonder, what can Web2 do that Web3 still can't? While Web3 promises a revolution, Web2 still has some serious advantages. Let's start with speed. Web2 apps are blazing fast, pages load instantly, videos stream without buffering, and everything just works. For example, you can open TikTok and all video pop up immediately. On the other hand, Web3 is still catching up. When you click something, there's a delay. Transactions need to be confirmed on the blockchain so they can take a few seconds or even minutes and in internet time that feels like forever. It's like ordering fast food and having to wait for a group vote before they hand it to you. Next, we've got user experience. Web2 platforms are smooth and easy to use. For example, your grandma can use Facebook and even your little cousin can use TikTok. Now, imagine asking them to use a Web3 app. First, they need to download a wallet, then back up a 12-word seed phrase, then figure out how to buy crypto, then pay gas fees, just to do something simple, like click a button or mint an NFT. It's a lot to ask from who just want to post memes or watch cat videos. And one thing that can't be denied is Web2 still rules the internet. It's fast, it's easy, and it's everywhere. Billions of people use Web2 products every day like Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, Instagram. But here's the plot twist. Is Web3 unlocks opportunities? Web2 can't even touch? One of the biggest game changers is data ownership. In Web2, everything you post, click, or upload is stored and owned by centralized platforms. But with Web3, you hold the keys. Your wallet is your identity, your data belongs to you, and no one can take it or sell it behind your back. But that's just the start. One thing Web3 really nails, it's privacy. In Web2, you give your info away just to use the product, enter your email, your number, accept cookies, allow tracking, and then somehow, you're getting ads for things you only thought about in your head. But Web3 flips that. You choose what to share, when, and with whom. Nobody can stop you. If you publish something on chain, it's there, immutable, and it's yours. That's a level of digital freedom that Web2 literally can't offer. And you know what? Web3 isn't just about code, blockchains, or smart contracts. It's about how people can work together. We're talking about coordination at internet speed, with global teams, and no middle management in sight. That's where DAOs come in. It sounds intimidating, but really, it's just a fancy term for online groups with shared money and shared goals. Here's how it works. Anyone can join. You contribute ideas, skills, memes, whatever. And in return, you get a stake. You help decide what gets built, where the funds go, what the next step is. It's kind of like a startup. But instead of investors and managers, it's a community. And everything runs on code or public votes. So Web3 lets people from totally different places work together like they've been in the same room all along. And the best part? Anyone can be part of it. So maybe the real future isn't about choosing one over the other. It's about blending the best of both worlds of Web2 and Web3. So are you Team Web2, Team Web3, or just here for the memes? Either way, one thing's for sure is that the internet as we know it is only just getting started.